What's up guys? This is my last figure unboxing for this session. I had to do a few of them because they've been holding up, but this is a figure that I've wanted for a while. I'm pretty good about getting, like I've gotten the most conventions, a lot of AX, New York Comic Con, all that fun stuff. I've been pretty good about getting the convention figures I wanted, but this is one I could never get for some reason. And so I finally used this website called Solar Japan, not not sponsored or anything, but they sell used figures. And I didn't want to pay the ex like exorbitant prices that eBay is, and I don't always trust eBay because scammers. So I was able to get this convention figure that I wanted for a long time. And you know, I don't know if you can see it too well because of the bubble wrap, but. Their stuff is shipped pretty decently. The last one was like super cover, this one's super bubble wrap. But this one is more expensive than the last one that I paid for. Cause the last one I unboxed it was the Orimo, which you know, watered her down a little bit, which is weird, but she was sticky. She still kind of is. But this one, I got the Mega Me school uniform. Box is kind of beat up, which is okay. Cause I'm gonna open it anyway. I think I paid 90 for this which i think it's like 120 normally somewhere in that price range has been open because a different type of tape i don't really use a round tape to seal everything but that's fine but, so that's what i paid for so i'll take you as long as it has everything in it be happy but it's one of my favorites i don't know why she has two lobsters i just noticed that now but as you, I don't know if you can see in the background, I have her in her school uniform again in the big figure. And then I have the swimsuit one, which was also a limited one. And then the normal Megami. So I'm a big fan, but don't always like spending an exorbitant amount of money. But I guess I might as well just take a look at the poses. So you got lobster, which I don't remember, but okay. You got her eating with sad face. Or doing called magic with the uh, best cat waving and then her just with the cat which is a cute one I might do that one that's super cute but super fan of this show probably one of my favorite shows I wouldn't say number one of all time but <laughs> I've always loved Konosuba and their dumb faces this show it's really good you told me you gave me two poses for fucking Chimaru. <laughs> but only one head. Okay. So, this comes with lobsters. I don't remember this. If someone can jog my memory, it would be great. Go with the breadsticks. With the bag. I'm gonna guess it's money. Best cat. And best cat without head. I don't like the best cat without head. He's a little scary. But, let's open her up completely. And we'll take a look. So like the old one, come with square base. I wonder if I'll be able to use the other. So pull her out. I don't know if this figure's been opened. I feel like it has because I'm used to seeing tape there, maybe. But all the things are covered that would be covered. I don't know. So probably out of plastic. Unless someone took their time to put all the plastic back on. Maybe it never been used. Ooh, I don't know what face to do. So we have winking. I'm gonna guess she's kissing in this face. Yeah. This might be one where I don't really change much. Now my decaf tape, but I wanna take out the <laughs> this thing. Black panties. Or spats. Okay one of the few figures where the stuff doesn't want to come off but the head did guys don't worry i might not have to decapitate this figure that'd be crazy but i'm gonna do it anyway just because you guys always like that so megami one of the best girls man guys you know that there's always debate between her and uh darkness but we all know 
darkness is like number two easily. What am I gonna do, guys? Should I have a staff? I don't really care for the breadsticks or the bag holding. Could do the weird pose. I think I'm just gonna have this one pretty basic. Standing up. We're actually gonna have to decapitate the head, guys. That wasn't for fun this time. That's interesting. A little pin that goes through to keep up her whatever you want to call that ribbon. Because we're most likely gonna do the one where that she's holding Chimuru. I don't know. I keep saying Chimuru. I don't fully remember the cat's name. Probably this one, because it's one of my favorite poses. Alright, yeah, and the head is supposed to come off. I'm sorry, cat lovers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this one. Have her hold him. Best demon. I mean, best cat. No spoilers. It's the best cat. But what are we gonna do? I guess I need these two hands. I don't know if you guys can see this. All you can probably do is hear the <laughs> sounds. That's okay. If I was nice, I'd probably cut it. But. Now, after making a few of these, not sure. Okay. I've learned, guys. Not that hand. Probably this hand. Sorry, guys, you can't see, but I don't really want to try to make this while lifting my arms all the way up. You're just gonna have to believe me, guys. I'm actually doing work. I feel like this isn't right either. But I'll tell you in a couple seconds. Ah, the arms do move. They were just stiff. Okay, so the issue with this pose is <laughs> there's nothing really to keep her holding it up. I'm just going by the gra grace of God and grace goal that will hold it up. Tiny man, gotta rename this show. Force can't put fucking rods and holes. Not weird. Maybe with that, I'll help the hands stay in place. Hopefully. Mr. Photographer, how'd you do this pose? I almost wish this was a better pose. Guys, you're, I'm, I'm having issues. It's going to be like either super fast forwarded or you could skip ahead. Hopefully I'll take the time. It's normally when I talk about the show, but I'm having so many issues. It's supposed to be like that. But the issue is she doesn't hold them too well because, you know, you're using force and gravity. So at some point, she's going to just be strangling the cat like that. <laughs> but I really like this pose. So, you know, we're going to leave it for half a second. We'll figure it out. So she had her, like, holding it up higher. 
So I can't move the arms higher. <laughs> Photographer, tell me your tricks. So that'll probably be the, be the pose for a minute. I got it, guys. No one breathe. If anyone breathes, it's going to knock her over. I think she's a great design. She is missing her iconic hat. I don't know. I can't remember in the show in season two when they're showing her backstory stuff if she even has the hat at the point. But I do the easy parts, I'm going to talk about the show. This figure's from season two, day 51. Uh, what the product number is. But she's been one of my favorite characters. I love her derpiness, how she doesn't want to learn normal magic. She only wants to learn the strongest magic. But the issue with the strongest magic is, you know, you can't really do much with it. Because <laughs> all she does is explode people. I'm saying that an issue? No, I think it's great. Anyway, normally I only buy figures for shows I I like. This is one of the few shows that I super like. I remember going to see the movie. It's like probably one of the last movies I remember going to see in theaters before the world imploded or exploded, whatever word you want to use. I think this is one of my. She's super cute in this figure. If you can find her and you can find her affordably, maybe even without a box, the damaged box, I don't care. I'm personally a guy that opens all his figures and saves all the boxes because you never know when you're going to have to, when you go poor and you're going to have to sell them. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. But I think this product's very well made. It's one of my favorites. Also put it out on nine. I said I only buy stuff I like, at least in the figure department. Until I get stuff that I have to review that isn't great. But I so said if you like this show, try to find it. I'm not surprised if you can't find it for a reasonable price. Cause I think ninety five or whatever I said in the beginning was as reasonable as I can get. Still have to pay shipping, so it probably rounds out to about the same price. But, if you guys like me unboxing figures, hopefully there'll be more coming in the future. And I might just do a figure review of my whole room, because I probably got a couple thousand dollars worth of figures in my house. So, if you want to see more, like, subscribe, comment. There'll be more stuff on Konosuva when the new season comes out. And I know everyone loves Megumi, best character. If you don't, leave. <laughs> but if you want to help us out, you can buy our stickers and uh, supports our podcast that we record every week. It comes out every Tuesday. It talks about all nerdy stuff between movies, TV, anime video games, whatever you can think of. Well, anyway, see you next time. As she says, explosion. <laughs>